In an earlier video, I talked about Merlin, the most famous legendary Arthurian wizard. A similar character is also present in the Welsh legend, known by the name Meridin Wished. Some argue that Merlin is inspired by Meridin Wished, or even that they are the same figure, suggesting that Meridin Wished later became known as Merlin when integrated into Arthurian mythology. The name Meridin Wished is said to mean Meridin in the wild. This originates from the belief that he went mad after the Battle of Arfdaret. Meridin fled into the forest where he lived among the beasts and gained the gift of prophecy. In most stories, the birth of Meridin is very similar to that of Merlin. He is said to have been born from the demon father and a human mother, therefore inheriting supernatural powers from his demon father. Later, he assumes the role of Merlin in Arthurian myths. In another story, Meridin is introduced as the son of Mauvren, also known as Mad Dog, and the brother of Gwendet, who is also described as an enchantress. Mauvren is described as the son of the powerful enchantress Caradwen, thereby inheriting magical abilities. The story tells that Meridin experienced period of mental instability, alternating with time of great wisdom when he could offer sound advice. He possessed the ability to predict the future, particularly when he was of clear mind. Meridin's mental instability led him to avoid living in conventional houses, especially during the summer months. Instead, he preferred to dwell in caves, among the rocks and in shelters he constructed himself in the valleys and forests along the river Conway. His sister Gwendet would often bring him food to these locations, leaving it where he could access it when he regained his senses. In these stories, both Meridin and Gwendet possessed the ability to make prophecies. Gwendet had the gift of dreams and Meridin would interpret them. At certain times, Gwendet had specific rare dreams, which she remembered until Meridin regained his sanity, allowing him to interpret them. She would then record these prophecies, especially those concerning their country. Some stories further extend, saying that Guanwale Apidio, a Britonic king who ruled in Arftarid, is the son of Gwendet. Meridin became the court advisor of Guanwale's court and even fought battles with him. However, Gonwale was defeated and killed in the Battle of Ardarith. Some versions even claim that it was Meridin himself who killed Gwenwale. Learning of her son's death, Gwendet disowned her brother, which drove Meridin insane and fled into the wilderness. While in the wilderness, Meridin recovered from his insanity. It was after this that he returned as a wise wizard. When Meridin is seen as Merlin, he joined the court of King Arthur after his return. In a more Christian-influenced version, it is said that Gwendoed advised Meridin to be baptized to recover from his insanity. However, only after fleeing into the wilderness did Meridin realize this advice and decided to be baptized, after which he recovered from his insanity. Meridin is also associated with Taliesin. Some say Taliesin is the child of Meridin, while other stories claim that Meridin is Taliesin's child. Yet other stories suggest that Taliesin is Meridin himself. There are also stories that say Taliesin and Meridin are entirely different entities. In a 19th century poem, Conversation of Meridin and Taliesin features a dialogue between Taliesin and Meridin in which they take turns uttering prophecies in their characteristic verse styles. The poem does not necessarily describe how Meridin and Taliesin originally met, but in some versions of the legend it says, after Meridin returned from the wilderness, he encountered Taliesin during his travels or adventures. An extension of this poem claims that at the time, Meridin was in the Kingdom of South while Taliesin was in the Kingdom of North. The poem is a dialogue between Meridin and Taliesin, split into two parts with a sudden change in subject and rhythm in the middle. The first half referred to a battle which has taken place in the past from the point of view of the debaters, the second one which is foretold as a future event. 
In the first battle, the North Welsh king Maegan Gwynedd is described as a protagonist. The reference in the second battle is the famous Battle of Erthdared. An interesting opinion on Meredin is that Meredin was a spirit in man's form who continued in that state from the time of Vortigern until the beginning of King Arthur, after which he disappeared. Afterwards, this spirit reappeared during the time of Maegan Gwynedd. At which time he is called Taliesin, who is said to be still alive in the city of Carsidia. Then he appeared the third time in the time of Morbren, whose son he was said to be, and this time he was called Meredin the Wild. And for that, to this day, it is said that he rests in Carsidia, where certain people believe that without a doubt he will rise once again before the Day of Judgment. What do you think of this story? Please let me know what you think and share this video with a friend you think might like it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you again with another story to tell.